All right, so what is good everybody on YouTube, the beautiful people of the internet? It's your boy B Bullet RC, and today I'm coming to you guys again with, well, yet another, you know, right here, another, no dropping, no dropping, okay? Yo, are y'all ready for the drop? Video. And today we got a triple unboxing, a Nike ID, and two other pairs of kicks I got sent a while ago. I just hadn't had a chance to shoot a video on them. I have been waiting on these. I actually got another pair of Nike IDs and some restock info I want to drop on you guys. So let's start from the top and work our way down to the bottom. So usually I would just go ahead, cut some music, and do an unboxing, but I haven't done a live unboxing in a while. So let's just go ahead and get right into it so this top box i believe this one is straight from Saucony. shout out to the dude john he knows who he is and we have some i can't say what the info i have okay just know that the shoes that we made are coming okay this let me just say that because i can't tell you guys any more than that trust me so this first one we have a Saucony originals box you got that new red Lux box with a nice gold foil on the top and this box actually isn't straight from Saucony but this one is this one's from my dudes over at Preve and this shoe right here this colorway is one that I seen last year I believe it had to be last year when I went to Saucony headquarters it's a Saucony grid SD the colorways it says is green and this is part of the public gardens pack now these joints this i feel like they changed the color just i feel like they changed the color just a little bit but these joints right here look at this colorway look look at the colorway for a second just look at it you got nice premium leather on the upper mixed with this nice i'm assuming this is going to be another pigskin suede had this golden i do i want to say golden more of a copper feel on the inside kind of feels like a more of a mesh material some regular type of fabric and you have these nice leafy like leafy green color laces i think they are waxed just slightly this was the one colorway that i really 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 wanted there's actually two more pairs from the garden pack that i talked about on the uh, previous will you cop all nice colorways but this one to me has to be my favorite man this colorway is almost now that i look at it, it's almost like a statue of liberty feel man this green with this off-white kind of beige top type feel on the outsole this is just a winner you know what I'm saying? This is Moped Man. We have not heard from Moped Man in a while, but there he goes. As I said, man, the green joints from the Garden Pack put some respect on the name. Man, it's been a long time coming. I've been I've been literally waiting for this shoe over a year, and I'm just so glad to finally have these joints. So that is the first pickup. Let's get into the second one. So with those joints back there out of the way, let's go ahead and get into the next box. Now I'm pretty sure I know what this one is, unless they try to pull a fast on one on me, then I know exactly what these joints are. If, if only I could actually get the box open. There we go. So you guys probably seen these around the web. Now these are the Saucony Shadow 5000 and an extra butter collab. And the craziest thing about this collab was that you guys or anyone that follows Extra Butter actually had a hand in which colorway release from what I read. Now these are actually inspired by like a night at the drive-in, like a drive-in movie theater. You guys can see Extra Butter on there, kind of giving that 70s, 80s feel on the side with that chrome look. Then you got the top of the box. The whole box has like this gradient starlight feel. And then around it, it does say for the people. And this one says size 12, shout 5,000, Extra Butter with the fuzzy dice on the side. Fun fact about me, if you even care, Snapple fact, uh, I actually had an idea of opening a drive-in theater because I think it's one of the dopest ideas is a car drive-in theater. But in Virginia, I don't really think it would work. It's an awesome idea and I'd love to go to one one day. Just like a live drive-in movie theater, that would be dope, but eh, probably it'll never happen. And getting to the actual shoe. Now you guys are gonna see that this shoe is car inspired. It's even got the chrome feel on it too. Let me go ahead and get the other one as well. So as we get into the actual shoe itself, you guys can see this one is color weighed after a car. You got your red spots here and there for red lights. You got chrome in the back with extra butter written across. And the materials, once again, y'all already know, I don't really need to go in on it. When Saucony does their collabs, they don't take no shortcuts. The leather on these is plush. And you guys can see that fuzzy dice embroidery right here with extra butter. The insoles you can see match the top of the box. And once again, man, Saucony just going full through with their concept and their design really dope shoe really interesting concept and i actually like the lace options too you have your white you have this 
nice slate blue you have more of this turquoise like water aqua blue to match the suede on the top and then plus you got your checkered laces on these like a flat checkered lace i think that's a dope little extra lace option once again the extra butter for the people Saucony shadow 5000 appreciate the look john thank you Saucony. like i said man our shoes are coming soon not soon soon but they're coming so with all that being gone y'all know what time it is man it is finally time and this isn't the only one i did two nike ids finally time to get into this nike id and we're going to just go ahead and do this live man i'm not going to cut my chest cavity open hopefully go ahead and cut that go ahead and pop the box open like this pop this side open like this and it's time man i got well, like i said i got two so if you're not feeling this one you might like the next one and also before we get into this the wheat highs the air force one wheat lv8 high restocked on nike i'm going to tell you if you don't have the mid don't play yourself and miss out on this restock is there take full advantage i'll link it down below but that didn't work but okay but today we have a new nike id go ahead and peel this back right here just like that and these are my nike id now it's a weird id i know it's a little weird the the desert camo it's a little bit weird of a hit but just Give me one second and I'm gonna explain. Let me take these out of the box for a second. So these right here are my newest Nike ID and I know this is a little weird. This one's gonna ca catch a, a couple people off guard and I'm gonna explain to you why I did what I did. Now, I honestly just forgot to change the Dubray back to black because I honestly don't like the the brown Dubray on the end like that. I really don't like that. I wish it was like black or orange would look a little bit better. But the option came up for the ID for the 3M camo joints right so i see that and another color that they had on the id was hazard orange um and i came out with these i know someone's gonna scream blown blown he's copying the blown 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 colorway but i actually made these like almost a month ago so yeah now while i really like the all over black and orange i just really didn't feel like that made it unique at all for the shoe and i just wanted that extra little bit of pop something a little bit different so i went ahead and threw in the desert camo i think it's called sahara desert or whatever the case may be desert camo 3m just on the swoosh and the strap just a little bit of a different hit so it's a little bit weird like it's just that black and orange but then whoa like where, where does the swoosh and everything come from and then i just put an exclamation mark because i thought it looked dope um i thought it was actually gonna be printed on it's actually embroidered onto the back and the leather on these joints is crisp anyone that's ordered off a nike id you know they put a i feel like they put a little bit of extra oomph in their uh materials when you order it like that and rightfully so you pay a little bit extra because you want something special that's one of one or maybe one of five if someone copies your idea um, but you want something special and you want the quality to match that so I appreciate Nike ID doing that and on the back If you're wondering these two characters these Chinese characters actually do represent wealth um, I got this on the back just because I thought it was a dope little hit I didn't want to do orange, but now that I'm looking at it, I kind of wish I did a little bit more of an orange hit back here But it is what it is the tongue is actually all over Hazard orange like that safety orange is all over leather and honestly, I'm happy with them So this tee right here the forum Kanye joint matches just so so perfectly with these joints so this is probably what i'm going to be wearing tonight um i know once again it can be a weird colorway but the nike id the beautiful thing about it is you can go up there and make it the craziest sneaker you want or the most low-key minimal not too much sneaker going on but at the end of the day it's your sneaker you don't like it you send it back so these i like them so i'm gonna keep them and i'm gonna rock them tonight so anyways guys that is it much love to all the fan followers and of course supporters let me know what you guys think about my nike id did you make your own as well like i said there's a restock on the wheat high joints so if you did not get them on the first time around don't play yourself it's one of the best alternatives to a tim like a lighter weight version i have the mid right here i would love for them to restock these for you guys i don't see the mid ever restocking but i'm seeing the high restock so if you're looking for a dope fall shoe look no further than these joints right here the high version is the one that restocked anyways i need to get out of here much love to all the fam followers and of course supporters you guys can follow me on instagram twitter soundcloud snapchat the snapchat is bull.cb by the way here there blase blah at bullet rc and i will see you guys next video have you ever id something before check out this new id option this is going to be one of those shoes that I throw on my top five for the fall because you can id them just like a whole bunch of other shoes up there but we will save that for our next video much love thank you for coming through peace <laughs>